So now I have my new table in the center and let's just type some words in here. This is the first time I'm typing in a table cell. Let me keep typing to see what happens when I run out of space. So you notice it kept expanding the cell until it squeezed this one over and then when it ran out of uh, room because the whole 450 pixels were used up it went down to the next line. So if you want the tables to be evenly spread here's what you need to do. You need to highlight your cells, right click, go to table cell properties and we want to select cells here and we'll select row. Now for the height we can leave that because as you type new text in there you want it to make room for the text and kind of make the the cells hot, you know, fatter, I mean taller rather. But for width we want them to be evenly spaced across. So if you look on the table, remember we created that table to be 450 pixels. So if we want an even even spacing across the the two columns, we need to make each cell 225 pixels. That's just half of 450. So when we hit apply, and we hit okay, you'll see that the width here is 400 is 225 because it's half of 450. Now we can set this anything we like. We could just make this width 100 pixels and then this one could be 350. The reason this is taller is because we typed text in there. If I didn't type as much text it would be as tall as these. But I can go into here and I can hit enter a few times and make it taller. And I can also go back to table cell properties and I can select a height. I can make a fixed height. I could make each height, let's just say 200 and see what happens. So we hit OK and you notice it only did it for that cell so I would have to go here, disable table cell properties and make the height 200 pixels but for the cell, no. How about for the row? And we hit OK. So it made this row 200 pixels high and then this one we didn't format yet. So you can adjust it so that it's exactly what you see is what you get or you can just leave the height expandable so if you type in text it will grow and make room for it. So I go back to table cell properties. For this row I'm going to remove the restriction from the height and just let it be naturally whatever height it wants to be. And for this one I'll do the same thing.